First question is from Zelen Castiat. How much protein can the body absorb in one meal? Is there a limit? And if it exists, what is it? 20 grams, 30 grams, 80 grams? Yeah, I like this question because it gets asked all the time yeah. and because it highlights uh, something that is, it is annoying in the fitness industry, and that's this. A lot of the information that we start to believe to be true really came from marketers and advertisers right. trying to market their products. So this whole concept of you can only absorb, and this is what you'll get sometimes, you can only absorb about 40 grams of protein at a sitting, or 50 grams of protein is about the most you can yeah, absorb How did they measure that? They measured it because that's about as much protein as you can pack in two scoops of protein powder. <laughs> exactly. That's where it came from. Nobody's taking cadavers and like you know taking samples of you know your cells and figuring all no. that out. You yeah. know what dictates how much protein you well, can? Well, again, like anything else, so there's got to be some sort of truth in it. That's why yes. it gets. That's why it carries some weight, right? Because obviously, it does take the body some time to assimilate the the protein, right? And I'm sure it's. But here's the thing: there's such a wide yeah, individual. But everybody's different. With yes. That. Yeah. Right. And if you're uh, fasted versus if you were fed, if you're somebody who's 300 pound big person versus someone who's 110 mm -hmm. pound, all those things change. So I bet there is kind of a, a kind of a, a round number that's close. Here's to that. what dictates how right. much you can absorb your digestion. That's all. Right. So if you eat past a certain point and you feel bloated or inflamed or constipated or diarrhea, then you probably went too far. That's what dictates it because Here's what happens with protein. It's a slow process of assimilation. So if you mm -hmm. can if you can eat 100 grams at a sitting and be okay with your digestion, you're going to utilize 100 grams of protein. So long as your body needs it, then you're going to assimilate it. It's not like this, uh-oh, the body's hit 50 grams. Yes. Let's take this other 50 and, and do what with it? Yeah. Like, like it just comes out your body? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the thought, I think. No, it doesn't work that way. Your digestion determines this for you. So I know people, I've worked with clients where... They need to have small amounts of protein because for whatever reason, protein were was constipating for them. I had a few clients like that where they, if they would eat over 30 grams or so, they noticed that they would kind of get constipated. I know other people, other people where protein is extremely easy. I'm one of these people. I can eat a large serving of protein for mm -hmm. a meal. I can't do that with carbs. Carbs tend to bother me. But if I, I can eat 100 grams of protein at a, at a meal and feel totally fine. I so, can so long as it's not mixed with something that you like for like if I have like let's say the five guys burgers which ends up being like 56 or 60 grams of protein for two of these things. I'm fucked up from that. But it's because of the bread and the cheese and mm -hmm. maybe even the fact that it's not uh, grass-fed beef like I talked about before. But if I ate just sat down and it had a, you know, one pound ribeye steak, I'm fine. Yeah. So it's literally like, I mean, if, if I, then if I had a half a pound steak and I had it with pasta or bread with it, it would, you know, it would upset my digestion. So I think that's the, the, the takeaway for people is to pay attention to what you're eating the protein with and d do you get bothered by X amount when you do? Yeah. Yeah. And it, I mean, if you think about back in the day when, when they were eating uh, mammoths, <laughs> you know, it's like they had to eat as much as they could before the, the meat spoiled, or maybe they figured out how to dry the meat or whatever. But the, the point is, is that you're going to adapt based on what your availability is too. And it's like, so to, to put an arbitrary number there, like, Oh, if you only eat, you're not going to, if you eat 60 grams of protein, you know, that's, that's that's too much. Yeah. Like you're only going to assimilate 40 grams of it. Like yeah, you're it's so it's such like otherwise. Bullshit. Otherwise, it would be. And Sal's brought this point up before. Otherwise, it would be a great strategy. Then you just eat uh, five meals with 100 grams of protein in it always, and then you can guarantee that you're not going to get fat. Yeah, you know? all those yeah. all those calories don't count because yeah. my body can't absorb them. That's a, yeah, it doesn't work. But you're, that's a great point, Justin. Like the way we evolved is we ate, and what prevented us from continuing to eat more was our digestion. So I'm sure we didn't eat Pat to the point we got sick. Right. We would eat and be like, oh, I don't want oh, anymore. Yeah. I don't feel good I'm anymore. I'm done. Yeah. And you're done. That's all. That's typically the number one thing that should dictate your diet and nutrition is how does it feel when you eat it? How's your digestion? Because if your digestion's off, you for, you can forget about you know building good muscle or burning good body fat. You're too inflamed. Your gut controls quite a bit of things. So let that determine. And so for some of you, it's going to be a lot. For others, it's going to be much less.